Greetings everyone. My name is Eve Lowry from The Baby's Booty and today we are bringing you another tutorial from the software program So What Pro. So What Pro is an embroidery design editing program. Um, so this tutorial is for those who wish to delve into embroidery. You already have a machine, embroidery machine, and you already have the designs and you wish to edit or merge embroidery designs. If that's the case, then this tutorial is for you. Now today, our tutorial is going to focus on adding letters to an existing design. That's a popular thing um, with embroiderers. Uh, our customers may want um, a photograph or a design with their name up under it. So today, that's what we will be focusing on. So what I would like to do is start off by deleting all of these letters here and we're just going to start from here. What I'm actually doing is dragging and dropping or, or dragging a square around the entire border of uh, the design field minus 4x4 four four, and that's what we're going to work with today. So drag a square all the way around and notice it selects everything. What you can do is hit delete on your keyboard, which is up above the backspace key. You hit delete and it all disappears and we can start with a fresh slate. If you ever delete something and that's not the choice that you wanted to make, then of course we do have an undo button right up here, the blue arrow pointing backwards and it will add everything back to the way it was. But we do want this gone, so we're gonna go ahead and delete that. Now, in order to add letters to a design, we first need to get a design. In order to uh, pick an appropriate design, you want to look at the size that you're working with. And as I mentioned prior, I'm working with a four by four area. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my grid back up here to make it easier for us to determine the correct sizing of our design. So in order to put the grid up here, where I had it before, we want to go to view, click there, and notice we have grid lines, grid labels. So we want to do the grid lines, and that puts your lines up here. So if you open So What Pro and you don't have your grid lines, you go to view, because you want to see your grid lines. So you go to view and click grid lines. Now I also want my labels on here so that we have our handy little measurements over here uh, and along the bottom of size and mine is in uh, Imperial so I have inches on my particular grid. Alrighty, so let's open up a design. So we're going to go to open um, and in opening we're going to go to let's see see if we can't find one that I wish to work with um, Let's go with this gorgeous moose design. I think he's gorgeous. And it's in the spirit of winter time, being that we have the winter coming. Now, uh, this particular design looks like it is definitely uh, an appropriate size for me to be able to put lettering either above or up under it. So with this particular one, let's see, how do I know what size this is? Well, all you have to do is click on the design and then look over here on the right hand side. And this gives you all the information about whatever it is that you have on your uh, grid over here for your embroidery design. So over here, if you click, it gives us the name of the design that I have imported. And it also gives us the size of the design and it's 3.84 wide by 1.26 high. So if my uh, grid gives me a four by four, then 1.2, I'll say inch and a half roughly, I have a good two and a half inches that I can play with in order to put uh, wording in or around this particular design. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, what I am going to do just for simplicity's sake is put particular font. Um, let's see. We are going to say 
have H A V E A and we're going to say very good day. V E R Y. Notice how that Y comes in. We're going to ignore that for right now. Mm. I don't know that good is going to um, fit, but we'll try because I did a pretty large font. G O O D. And now we'll go D A. Why? Let's see if we can't get you to fit down here. You're barely going to fit, but, oh, yeah, you actually will fit. Let me move you up, Mr. Moose. And we're going to go ahead and move all these letters. Now, notice that I have been just pretty much grabbing what I want by drawing a box around whatever it is that I want to move, whether it's just one, one particular word here. Notice I just barely put it just across the middle of the letters that I wanted or I can go a little bit higher and it'll select more but that's how that works now that we have have a very good day let me show you how selecting by line can be beneficial so we know have h a v e a is number six v e r y I want that letter y and I also want that letter g because it's higher than the rest of my letters and then I also want that last letter Y so I was holding down the control key and I clicked on 10 11 and 17 without letting off of my control key as a matter of fact it's still held down so now I can let go of the control key and these are still highlighted so what I'm going to do is grab this box with just those three letters and look what I can do I can pull this down so that those letters now line up where they're supposed to be and what I'm going to do is click right here in this grid so that everything else shows up again I'm going to highlight day and pull it down some so that it can be more uh, visible and I'm going to center this so all I'm doing is just dragging these things around you can maneuver things any way you want now so what pro the letters that hang down like they're supposed to your Y's your G's um, they're going to populate up like you saw them there because what it's doing in alphabet mode is it's putting everything in a line straight across it doesn't really know to put that down where it's supposed to be so that's one of the benefits of being able to hold down the control key and select your letters by line so that's pretty much how you add a design uh, add lettering to a design um, you also let's finish this out let's let's go ahead and finish this out I was going to end the video and make it short but I think it's good to see how you can merge this and have it finish out so that you can send it to your machine so have a very good day it depends on how you want this to stitch I personally if all of this was going to be blue just like it is I would want all of this to stitch at one time if that's the case because each one of these lines is a color stop so what's going to happen is it's going to stitch all of the green then it's going to stop and it's going to tell you hey change your thread then it's going to tell your machine hey this is an, a letter H and it's blue so stop after you stitch this because number three even though it's blue is still a separate stop so we want all of this blue to merge together uh, so that we can stitch it all at one time so the way to do that is to go up here to edit and click edit then come down to join threads now all of these letters are of the same color as you can see over here in this list so we want to join all of the threads of the same color so look it shortened everything down from just the green and then just the blue because that's pretty much how you want it to stitch so in that instance we're done you can come up here to file you can go to save as and if you have a specific folder which my tip to you guys is to make one that says custom and go to your custom folder and then save it as a completely different name we're gonna say custom moose just because 
and then you hit save. Now I'm not going to save it, but there's a reason why, and I'm not, uh, I can show you that in a moment, but custom moose. And then that way, whenever you want to come back to your design without having to go through that all over again, all you have to do is click custom moose. If you want to add a different message up under this custom moose, after you've already done it, all you have to do is open up custom moose. It will pop up just like this with your red and your blue. You can highlight the blue line right here and you can hit delete and that affords you the moose is still there where you had it before and you can put a different name or a different saying up under the moose. So that's how you would merge words up under this particular design. Now I'm going to show you another really quick trick. Say for instance, um, you wanted this to be a different color. So you would come up here and you know, like D A Y, we already know I'm saying it backwards, but because I'm counting the letters backwards. So we know these three are for the letter day. I want good to be a different color. So I'm gonna highlight the D, hold down the control key, the O, the O and the G. And what you can do is make this a different color. So this becomes bluebird. So that's pretty. I want this to stand out as a different color. So what you can do now at this point is tell it to join your threads again. Wait a minute though. I want this to stitch and not have to go from that color to that color. Well, what you can do is a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and join those threads anyway. So we're going to join threads and notice it goes green to the dark blue to the light blue to the dark blue. So we're going to take this word day and we're going to reorder this. There's a couple of ways to do that and I'll show that in more detail in a later tutorial. But for now, I'll hold down my shift key, the right shift key on my keyboard. Click on this number four and I'm going to drag it to where that number three is and it reorders it. So now it's going to stitch that it's going to stitch day, then it's going to stitch the good. And that way I don't have to flip flop between these colors. And then I come up here, join my threads, join the adjacent threads of the same color. And now it's going to stitch each color, separate words. That's how simple. So what pro makes it, it's an awesome program. Very good for lettering, adding letters to designs. Definitely give it a try. Save this video, rewind it as many times as you need to. If there was something you saw me do because I know I was going kind of quick and you want a little more clarification, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section. If there's something that you would like to see covered, please leave a message in the comment section. If you found this video to be helpful to you, we love the thumbs up. So just hit like and by also clicking on the like button below, it will allow you to be able to navigate back to this video faster uh, because it'll save in your liked videos on YouTube. I appreciate the time that you take to watch our tutorial uh, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.